Hello children. Today I am going to start General Science Chapter 2 Human Body. In the previous class we have done Chapter 1 Living Beings and Non-Living Beings. Hope you have done your homework which I gave you. Fill in the blanks, true, false and answer in one, one or two sentences. Now what you do? You do this A number also. And these all you do in your books. A number, B number, C number and this D. Answer this question in one or two sentence in your G science copy. And one more question you do. List six features that all living beings process. Write two lines about each feature. So this question also you do in your G science copy. And there is one activity also. Visit a park close to your house. Note down the names of all things you have seen there. So what you do now you categorize them into living beings and non-living beings. Okay, this activity you do in the chart papers. Now let's start chapter 2 human body. So first I will tell you what is human body. Okay. Have you ever looked inside the bonnet of a car? See here. You probably see something like this. So this machinery is what makes a car work. So the human body also has its own machinery to make it work. Human body is a wonderful machine ever built. Like a machine, the body are of many system and each system of the body does some special work. But all the system work together to keep the body healthy, active and working. If we compare our body, it is a far more amazing than any machine. It can do things that no machine can do. For example, the body can grow. It can also repair itself when there is some trouble unlike other machine. So every moment of the day, even while we are asleep, our body system are busy at work. Many, many body parts such as Kidney, see here, left kidney, right kidney. So kidney, heart, lungs work continuously. So the body need energy to work in a machine such as car. The energy comes from petrol. Everybody know the energy comes from petrol. From where does the body get energy to work? So in the body it comes from the food and oxygen. We all know we use eat. We eat food to give us energy to grow and work. So it will be very interesting to learn about its performance. Let us first use about how body is made up of. So let's know about how body is made up of. Do you know? Do you know the human body is made up of over 100 million cells? So let's know about cell. So in living organism are made up of small structure called cell. So cell are very very small. They can't be seen with naked eyes. They can be seen only through a microscope. So cell when grouped together form a tissue. So tissue form an organ. Tissue combine all together to form organ. Like here heart. Heart is given. So, see here different organs, lungs, liver, kidney, intestine, skin, bladder, stomach, heart, brain. So, these are the organs 
when these organs combine together they make organ system okay so these organs combine together make organ system so when organ system combine it become organism so now we will talk about eight organ system in our body before that i'm just now i talked about cell tissue organ organ system then organism so now let's talk about organ systems how many organ system in our body there are eight organ system in our body so see number 1 the respiratory system number 1 is respiratory system number 2 the digestive system read again the digestive system number 3 the skeletal system the skeletal system next the muscular system the muscular system the nervous system the circulatory system the excretory system and last the reproductive system so let us study about the systems now we will go through one by one so let's start respiratory systems so do you know what is respiratory system so our first point is respiratory system so we need to breathe in order to take good oxygen into our body and get rid of the dirty carbon dioxide okay see i am breathing hard are you so respiratory system is made up of organ in your body that help you breathe you breathe so you can deliver oxygen into your body and take away carbon dioxide so how does it work when you breathe an air you bring in oxygen it goes into your lungs okay and then you breathe out you blow carbon dioxide so breathe in air breathe in is called inhaled air and rich in oxygen and when we breathe out is called exhaled air that is known as carbon dioxide and it is a waste gas so in next class i will deal from deep breathing till that thank you